In today's episode, we're gonna do another art piece. This art piece is a different variation on a piece that I did a while ago. I did a two-dimensional eye. It was a combination of stainless steel TIG welding as well as paint, engraving, a couple other things. So today, I'm gonna do another version of it. I'm gonna do it on aluminum plate. I've never done two-dimensional art pieces before with aluminum, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I've got a clean piece of aluminum here. I'm basically gonna sketch it up freehand, go from there, and then once I get it all laid out, we'll start welding it. Okay, now I got it drawn up. As you can see here, I'm just using a scribe to outline my lines on this one. Normally I use a Dremel tool to actually Dremel all of the lines in, but because aluminum is so soft, I can do it by hand, it's a lot easier. So as I get going, all I'm doing at this point is basically just trying to follow the curved line and trying to make it look as uniform and organized as I can. Now as you'll see here, as I get going with my signature dot work look that I always do, it's much harder with aluminum. It's hard to keep them small and keep them perfectly round. But the thing I do like, however, is that these dots with aluminum tend to stand up and pop a lot more, so I really like this effect. All right, now I'm going to hit it with some polish. This aluminum is gonna set off and look really nice with some polishing. This part is always the part that blows my mind. I love how this comes out. I gotta say, as far as art pieces goes, that's one of the fastest weld outs I've done so far. That took like no time at all. So now it's time to do one of my favorite things, bust out the paint. I'm gonna use a little airbrush today, a little bit of rattle can, combine the two, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, now that the rough job with the paint is done, I'm gonna take it inside under my studio lights and my desk. I'm gonna do some fine detail. I'm gonna use a couple markers, a couple paint pens, we'll see where it goes. But basically I'm gonna do all the fine detail at this point, try and bring out some lines from the iris of the eye, get some detail going, as well as leave that color that I put down. I really like that blue and a couple shades on there. So I'm looking forward to this next part. Stick with me. 